I'm Mary Ann Sheline. I'm the Program Specialist of Education and Exhibits here at the Indiana Historical Society. I am going for a three-peat of hot pepper history because I'm stupid. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to tell you about the Ohio River Pirates. Oh, God. Mm. Okay, so when you think of the word pirate, you normally think of Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp, thanks to pop culture, and their funny cute scallywags and da 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 da. The Ohio River Pirates were very ruthless. Between 1785 and 1805, it's estimated that more than 2,000 men, women, and children lost their lives. Oh, this is going to be so bad. Um, and at the time, the population of the U.S. was less than 4 million. So that's really a large segment of the population oh, that died due to Ohio River pirates. Um, at that time, the Ohio River, Mississippi River, all that area was the Wild West. Um, this was before people were going farther out west, so we were it. We were the frontier. <sighs> this was before steamboats, so the boats did not have any kind of outside power. It was all man-powered and current-powered. So they mostly used flat boats, which were flat, had a little log cabin on it to store things. But because they couldn't move very fast, they were considered prime targets. They had valuables, people's, all their stuff moving, or stuff to take out west to the different stores. So lots of product on board that were ripe for the taking. So the Ohio River Pirates would typically, some of them would hide in a cave or something, and one guy would be out um, on the river and he would offer to help. You'd see this guy and he'd be like, oh, I can take you to clean water or I can help you. There's some rapids coming up. And instead, <coughs> he would take them to this cave where his cohorts were. They would murder everybody and then they would take the boat further downstream where they would sell it and all the loot. Eventually, whew, um, oh, oh, oh. um, oh, oh, okay, um, the, the pioneers started wising up a little bit, and they started forming flatboat flotillas, so that they would have protection in numbers and things like that, and they would typically hire on a keel boat that would have a cannon on board, so that they would have uh, armored protection and weapons. This is essentially the predecessor of the wagon trains that later went on through the Great Plains out west. Um, they learned their lesson from the Ohio Riverboat flotillas. The pirates also operated on the Great, La on the Great Lakes. Whew. Basically, any place that there was opportunity to plunder and that there was a lack of law enforcement. You can find out more about the Ohio River Pirates in some different articles. There's actually a historic site in a state park in... Um, Illinois. Um, a lot of the violence happened at the confluence of the Ohio River and the Mississippi, but we did have it all along here as well. So if you want to learn more, do some research. In the meantime, I'm going to drink some milk. Thank you. Oh. Oh. I don't know how to explain it, but my lips like feel like it's like fire caterpillars.